today we are going to start a new series that's going to be on Airbnb. Um, this is a highly request series uh, that I've been watching you guys asking me to do for a long time, ever since we did the first series uh, that was on Uber. Um, but now we are going to, to start this one and it is going to be slightly different. I'm not going to do it on Android. We are actually, actually going to do um, a website. The reason is uh, I'm getting tired of developing Android apps and so I decided to move away from this and in the process learn a new language or a couple of them actually. Uh, so they are all based on JavaScript. Uh, they are uh, based around MERN, which is a full stack, um, which stands for Mongo, um, Express, React and Node.js. So all of this is JavaScript in the, the basic form, but it is built upon so that we can do a full stack uh, web app with no problem at all. So uh, for the backend, we have Mongo, Express and Node which Mongo is the database uh, and Node and Express are what we write on uh, to be more precise. And for the front end, we have React. So React is kind of like if you imagine we put HTML and JavaScript put together. And so it builds a, a nice package in which it is really easy to, to develop on because everything is built in and to make lists and to make API calls, it's extremely easy and you are going to enjoy it for sure. Okay, now we are going to move on to the tools that I use during the developing process. So because it is a, because it is web development, it is, we don't need that much. You only need a code editor. I'm going to use VS Code because it is the one that I enjoy the most and I believe it is the best out there, but you are free to use wherever you want. And I'm going to use uh, a different operating system. I'm not going to use Windows as I did in all of our series. And that's because developing for web using Windows is, is not impossible, but it is harder than it is with either uh, Linux or Mac OS. All of them are Unix based, which makes it extremely easy to put things up and running. And so because of that, I'm going to use a Linux di distro that you might have heard of, which is Manjaro. I'm going to explain all of the things that I use because there are a couple of packages that we have to put on top. But yeah, don't worry, I'll explain all of that. As far as the pre-requirements go, you don't actually need to learn that much about programming because I'm going to take step by step how to do everything. I'm going to keep this project really simple to show you guys how the MERN full stack actually works. So don't worry about uh, not learn, not knowing a lot about programming. I'm going to take it step by step. As far as goals uh, go for this uh, project, I want to keep the project as simple as possible, as I've said. Uh, so we are going to start off with an off system, uh, an authentication, uh, and it is going to be made using Firebase and this is the only part of the project that we are going to be using Firebase. We have Mongo for the database. Just I just thought that it would be easier to, to use Firebase for the off system as it is built in, it is secure and we don't have to take care of the, the security part of the login system. And it has some nifty um, features which will allow us to easily check if the user truly is logged in and isn't trying to appear as if the user is some, someone else. Uh, next, we are going to be able to obviously post, list and search uh, for listings, houses in this case. Um, and it is going to, I, I'm going to try to keep it as simple as to Airbnb as possible. When it comes to search fun functionality, we are going to be able to search by price, by number of people, by all of these different factors. It is extremely easy to do with uh, Mongo. You are going to, to, to see it. And finally, and this has a, an interrogation point at the end, I have the payment gateway. I still don't know if we are going to do it, but I'll try to uh, implement it. It depends on how the API is built and it is probably going to, to be made using PayPal, so it should be solid, but 
I don't want to be liable for any issues. So if I see that it has some quirks, I'm not going to implement it, but I'll try and do my best to do it. The final two points that I want to touch on are my on my website. So the first one is the forum. I'm going to use the forum and you should too, to um, ask and to answer questions about the project. So if you have any question about the project, please go into the forum. The link is down below and ask there. I'm going to create a board uh, for dedicated to Airbnb. So you can simply go in there and ask. I'm going to try to answer all of the questions within a 24 hour period. I can't guarantee you uh, that fast of a response every time, but I'll do my best too. The second part is that at the end of this series, I'm going to launch a redesign of the, the project, which is something that I always do. And it is going to be available in my store. So if you are watching this at the end of the, the series, then please go to the store and check it out. I'll probably launch a video just to show the features and how everything looks. Uh, the main goal of the redesign is to keep it as similar as possible to the real app, because in this project, uh, in the YouTube series, I'm not going to focus that much on the design elements. I'm going to try and focus on the back end, which is the part that I think is most interesting and hardest to, to replicate. So that's all. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm really excited about this series and I'll catch you later. Ciao.